Hi and welcome back. So in the last video we say that we are going to look at how you can list all the elements in an array using a for loop. And that's what we are going to do in this video. So if you don't remember how to create literal arrays, this is how it is done. You just declare the array. This is the name of the array and then let's give this array elements. Let's say Jerry. The next one, say Jerry. And then we can have Peter. And then we can have O Molo. So these are names, okay? And we want to list all the people in our array using a for loop. First of all, you'll have the initialization. We're going to initialize a variable called x. And then we're going to give the condition and then we're going to see an increment. So if I say that x is less than the length of this array. So you remember, if you wanted to check the length of the array, it would be people dot length, length, people dot length. And then you increment that. And if you allotted this, this will just give us the values from one. So here is people, how to access the array, at name of the array, and then here is the index of the array. And in this case, our index is going to be x. So one thing I've just noticed that if I start the value of x from one, since arrays are zero based indexes, we are going to start from Jerry. So what you can do, so what we should do is start from zero. If you start from zero, it will start from Jerry and then Jerry, Peter, Omolo, and it's going to give us all this. So if I run this, it will give us the first name, the second name, third name, fourth name, and that is it. So if you want to iterate through your arrays, this is a very simple way of doing it. And if you want to list maybe arrays from a certain level, maybe you want it to start from two, you can just give the initial value of x as two. And then if you run, it will give you only the last two. So using a similar fashion, you can display all the elements in an array. So that's what we were to do in this video. And if you have any questions, make sure you let me know.